Okay, so biggest news today in Bitcoin world by a mile uh, are the developments that are happening with the scaling debate. If you're not familiar, basically there is a planned uh, fork, so a change in the code that's going to be activated on August the 1st. Basically the miners have come back with a counter proposal and they're looking to make another fork uh, even before August 1st to be activated on July 31st or even before. So what that means is, uh, let's have a look at this in visual form, it could be a little bit easier to understand. Basically Bitcoin is going on in one direction um, and what I mean by a fork, it's just a different type of code which will make Bitcoin a little bit different, so it'll be a, actually a different coin. Um, but they're fighting to actually have it be called Bitcoin. So uh, there's, there'll be a fork. And then even now with the miners, they've said that they're going to fork even before this other fork. So there are going to be three types of Bitcoin. So bear with me. What does this actually mean? Well, let's have a look at the types of Bitcoin that this means. So the one, if we don't make any changes at all, that's called legacy Bitcoin. If we do end up going with the, uh, the SegWit activation on August the 1st, that's just going to be called uh, the SegWit or BIP148 um, chain, and then if we make a change beforehand, that's going to be SegWit2x. And what SegWit2x means is there's they're going to activate SegWit as well, so we are going to get those layer 2 solutions, which is great, but they're also, three months after, they're going to increase the block size from 1 megabyte to 2 megabytes. So, so that will increase the number of transactions that can happen on the main chain. So how do you protect yourself for this? Well, the big, best thing you can do is control your private keys. Uh, I've got a video on how you can actually do that. I'll leave that in the description in the, in the next video um, link that you can see at the end there. But what does this actually mean? Well, it means that you're going to actually have three different types of Bitcoin. So if you've got, say, three Bitcoin right now and the chain splits into two, you'll have three Bitcoins on this chain and three Bitcoins on the other chain as well. And if it splits again, you get three Bitcoins on that chain as well, only if you control your private keys. Does that mean you're gonna triple your money? Probably not, because the idea is the longest chain will win, and the other two will either you know, become a, another type of small coin or maybe even eventually die out. Uh, but yes, there's a potential that all three could be wildly successful, who knows? But no, you're, not prob you're probably not gonna be tripling your money. Uh, but, it's important to understand that the most important thing you can do is control your private keys. So if you do have your money on an exchange or in a wallet and you're not sure which way they're going to go, if they don't give you the option, uh, take it, take your coins off that exchange and out of that wallet and create your own private keys. Again, I'll leave the uh, how you actually do that in the description below. Uh, other news today, actually no, before we have a look at that, why this is actually a massive deal is it was only really announced within the last day or so that this is actually happening. So they are going to have this counter proposal. And this is a website called coin.dance. Uh, it's a great website. I'll leave the link below. Basically, this tells you what percentage of the miners are voting for each of the different types of proposals to, you know, for where we can actually take Bitcoin. So emergent consensus is basically Bitcoin unlimited. And the blue line represents the percentage of blocks that have been mined over the last thousand blocks, uh, or you know, around about a week. And this represents the last uh, percentage of blocks mined within the last day. So if we come down to SegWit2x, we can see in, in the last day, we have 74.3% of blocks have been mined, uh, and they're supporting SegWit2x. If this blue line, so that's basically the last 1,000 blocks, um, if that blue line ends up being 80%, it means that they're basically going to go with the fork. So this is very promising. Let me just refresh and see how many, how much this has actually increased even since in the last couple of minutes. Uh, we have over here 75.7, so it is growing, okay, which means this will uh, grow. And if it gets up to, you know, around about there, if it gets over 80%, we're probably going to have that split. So be prepared. It's probably going to happen. Control your own private keys. Can't say it enough. I'll move on. Next story is Civic. So uh, I'm not going to be flogging every ICO that comes out. The reason I like Civic is I like the team and I also like the problem that they're solving, which is the problem of identity on the internet. The ICO with here is just over a day away. Um, I'll leave the link uh, below if you want to go check that out. Uh, pretty exciting. One other thing, look, a lot of these altcoins are probably getting a bit of a push by people protecting their coins, uh, people protecting their coins, uh, not, don't want to be riding this Bitcoin 
uh, debacle over the next couple of months and they're looking for safety. So there are probably going to be lots of opportunities in the altcoins side of things. Uh, but definitely, you know, just be careful, uh, be safe, control your own private keys, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you do have any questions on anything that we've talked about today or anything else, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Uh, like, subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.